everyone. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Business Central Add-on Spotlight Series. Today, Savantis is partnering with ADP representatives, Alexia and Michael, and we're going to discuss Workforce Now for Business Central. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the Q&A. We'll be happy to address them. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to, I think, Alexia to get us started. Yes, thank you, Emily, and thank you to everybody for joining us today. We're so excited to be here with our partners from Savantis. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive right into this. So uh, quick agenda, we will be going through some introductions of myself, Michael, and then um, my executive support here today, Kenny, an overview of the ADP services, and then um, you know the star of the show, right, how ADP and Microsoft Business Central work together. Um, so really quick, I will introduce myself. So my name is Alexia Stockton. I have been with ADP for just over five years, which is insane. It's like I blinked my eyes and half a decade has gone by, um, where I work specifically with partners such as Savantis and their clients and making sure that we're helping fill the technology gap that is currently being felt today by clients such as yourself, right? So think your ERP system talking to your payroll system. That's where really uh, we, we come in with partnering with Savantis. And then um, from executive support, I have my VP, Kenny Anderson, on the line. He is dialed in all the way from Orange County, California. Thank you, Kenny. And then, Michael, I'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself, if you don't mind. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Sedano, and I'm a business consultant here at ADP. I've been here for just over six years. And my position here is talking about our technology and the way that we integrate for our clients. I'm so excited to join you all today. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. So I'm going to do a quick poll really quick, Mike, um, Emily, if you want to go ahead and push that poll out, uh, really trying to understand the familiarity of the group with ADP services today. Usually give it just about a minute. Can you see on your end, Emily, um, the amount of votes we're getting just so we know when to, to move to the next slide? Yeah, it looks like um, we have, um, you want to see the results? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see them. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Got a good mix of here in the group, right? Some people we probably, I, I think the, the somewhat familiar, you've probably heard the, the term ADP before. Um, not surprised, right? One in five Americans are actually paid by ADP. Um, so I'm sure at a job you've worked in the past, whether you were paid by ADP or you've worked with ADP, um, it's probably been in your life, may, may you know or not. So thank you everybody for uh, the poll there. Um, so let's talk about ADP workforce now, right? So this is the technology that um, is going to really be the star of the show. So here you're going to see a full spectrum of our offerings within ADP. So we are a true hire to retire technology um, with a lot of, um, I would say, sprinkled support throughout that. So um, beyond just our modules, we have our mobile app for your employees. We have our marketplace. We have workers comp. We have tax credits. Think WOTC, uh, we have pay cards, uh, we have everything under the sun that you can imagine for your employee needs. Um, so Workforce Now is really a simplified, purposely built experience for HR, payroll, benefits, time and attendance, recruitment, performance management. I mean, you name it, we do it. Uh, so we're constantly imagining the world of work with our powerful technology, engaging employee experiences, and support tailored to your business specifically. Um, so you may be looking at this thinking, okay, some of these things are a need for my organization today, and maybe some of them are, right, which is totally fair. And so that's where I come in as a partner with Savantis is if there's ADP as an interest to you, what we will do is we will go through a co-building solution. We go through an in-depth analysis where we really talk about the ins and outs of your organization and your goals to make sure that we are providing a solution that best fits your needs, right? So we understand there's not a one size fits all. Um, and that's what's really exciting about Workforce Now. We're able to build it and tailor it exactly to you. Um, something I wanna mention, by the way, ADP has the largest 
open HCM ecosystem. And we'll touch on that in just a minute and what that means to you. Let's talk about some uh, exciting steps about ADP Workforce Now and our mobile app. So you'll see here there's a, a laptop in the middle, a mobile, or an iPhone, excuse me, and then an Apple Watch. So um, we do have an ADP mobile app. It is one of the most downloaded business apps in the App Store for Apple. Um, we have almost a five-star rating with over 2.1 million user ratings. I myself, as an ADP employee, use this app. It's how I pull my pay stubs. It's how I pull my W-2s as I'm getting a loan to buy a new condo. So it's a really amazing technology, um, and people are increasingly using our, our mobile app as well. Um, with ADP, we have over 900,000 clients. So we are almost at our millionth client today, which is super exciting. Um, most of our clients stay with us for over 12 years. Uh, we are one single database. And if you are global or maybe you have an organization in Canada, we do have cross-border solutions as well. So, um, you know, we've, we've been around for, gosh, I want to say 75 years. I think we really invented this industry. And it's really exciting to see some of these numbers and how ADP is growing and helping um, businesses across the nation today. So I know a little bit ago I talked about how ADP has the largest open HCM ecosystem. Um, so we also have our own marketplace. So think of this as your app store, right? So uh, we understand that you may have a performance system or a recruiting system that's tried and true and is working good for you, and maybe it is something you don't want to get rid of as you are evaluating your payroll and HRIS system, um, the chances are we probably integrate with it. So our marketplace really addresses needs, um, giving you a choice and flexibility to choose the solutions that best fit for your needs, right? So we have automatic bi-directional data feeds, um, so HR practitioners, payroll practitioners no longer need to maintain the same employee, to, to, <clears throat> excuse me, same employee data in multiple systems. So no having to rekey. I know a lot of people are always looking for that true seamless integration between systems. Um, so with our marketplace, you can try and buy solutions to help streamline your processes and, <clears throat> excuse me, improve your employee engagement. Um, and our marketplace is constantly growing. So on this slide here, it's probably a little small for you folks, but you can see um, a ton of our partners that are currently on the ADP marketplace today, and we're constantly growing. Um, so this deck can be sent out. We do have our op store available online for you to surf. Um, may you have questions specific to something you see on here or a system you're using today and wanna to talk about how that might work with ADP, feel free to either drop it in the chat or we can connect on that offline. So as we're talking about um, EDP's marketplace and having our, our open ecosystem, you know, the, the real reason why we're here today, right? Like this is the star of the show is talking about our ERP integration. And what's really exciting with Microsoft Business Central, we actually have this as an open API. Um, from our major competitors, as you can see here, ADP is the only HRIS HCM system that has a true API with Business Central. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning, a part of my job in working with Savantis is making sure that we're filling that technology gap you may be feeling today um, between your ERP and payroll system, and it's only going to get better. So from here, what I'm going to do is pass it over to Michael as he's going to talk about <clears throat> the data flow between ADP and Microsoft before we go into our demo. I think we might have a poll question. Oh, nope, we have a poll question after this. So Michael, I'm gonna go ahead and let you take it from here. Thanks, Alexia. Uh, and hi again, everyone. Um, today, we're going to talk about the Workforce Now ecosystem and how that ties into Microsoft Business Central 365. And the main two ways that we're doing that is by sending employee data over to Microsoft so I enter a new hire into the system and that contact information is automatically being delivered to the Microsoft Dynamic uh, ERP. No need to rekey information. We're also reducing human error. The second part of that is the general ledger data integration. So once I process payroll, I have all of my earnings codes, my deductions, taxes, 
and you know perhaps we have that drilled down to specific jobs or projects or departments that our employees are working on we're sending that data back to microsoft so that we can view the data and drill down into those different data points we'll show all of this in a demonstration but before we jump into that we do have one final poll question uh, prior to our demo so alexia if you want to advance to the next slide and then Emily, we can launch that poll before we jump in. And the poll again, um, you know, can we see advantages of having ADP and Business Central integrated with one another? Okay. Um, it looks like you know we're we're on agreement, <laughs> and so I will I will launch into our demonstration here. I'll share my screen. And what we're looking at right now is the Workforce Now portal. So we talked earlier about that hire to retire solution, a place where we can handle. Uh, HR, benefits, recruiting, learning, payroll, all in one system. So today we're going to explore what that looks like and also how we interact with Microsoft. Hey, Michael, really quick, it's still on my screen. So let me go ahead and stop really quick and, and let you share. Oh, we can see it now. Okay, perfect. Um, so this is the Workforce Now landing page, and this can be customized. You know, if we have our open enrollment event happening right now, we can make sure that that is the, on the top of the page for our employees. As they log in, they can see, oh, wow, I have 17 days remaining in that open enrollment period. I want to make sure that I'm going through and making those benefit elections. We also have the ADP mobile app, which coincides with that ADP portal. We're calling out important items for that employee, um, clocking, having um, you know, a, a pending document that needs to be signed or addressed. I can review my pay statements, enroll in benefits. So really providing all of those things on the mobile app for our employees. Now, how are we getting employees into the portal? Under my HR dashboard, this is our, our center for ever, all of our folks that are working in HR. I can place an employee on leave, terminate an employee, do a job change. I can view onboarding and where our folks are in the process. Even sending out broadcasts. So, hey, our office is closed today. We had a weather event. Um, also creating our own custom surveys and asking our employees, how do you feel about the benefit plan that we just offered? and getting that employee feedback. This is also important for engagement. And all of these surveys that we have directly within the system are created by the ADP Research Institute. So I can create one of these survey questions, exit surveys, our candidate experience, and then we can see those specific questions. I can name that survey and also choose the audience that's receiving these. The employee will receive this on their cell phone and then they can answer those questions. Even typing in, some of those are free form text, you know, what additions would you add? Now, going back to that HR dashboard, this is where we're also starting that new hire process. So I can go into the system, I can choose a template, you know, maybe this employee is also using time and attendance within ADP, um, or maybe this is a temporary worker. We can have different templates set up for different employee groups. Now, the information can be brought into these templates using ADP's applicant tracking system. We can also, we showed that marketplace earlier, we can pull information from third-party applicant tracking systems or I can manually enter it into the into ADP. Uh, we're now hiring this employee, Daniel Norris. And when I click done, I can see that that employee is completed and entered into the system. 
Now, taking a look, we can then pass that information over to Microsoft Dynamics. We'll receive an email letting us know that that exchange is complete. And then I can log in and view that employee directly within our Dynamic 365 Business Central. Okay. So we can do that search for Daniel Norris. And I can see that that contact information was delivered from that ADP Workforce Now system. Now, another thing that I can do directly from that ADP dashboard is begin the onboarding experience for our new hires. And this can be completed through a portal. It can also be completed through that mobile device that we mentioned earlier. But the idea here is to welcome the employee to the organization and let them know that we're excited about their first day. We can also include videos here letting them know about our culture, maybe work that we do with the community. And this is important too, because Sherm states that if we can align the employee to the mission and vision of the organization, we're 74% more likely to see that employee stick with us beyond that three year mark. So as we're talking about this technology, uh, we're also nodding to things like retention and lowering our turnover. we're introducing that new hire to their team and the different folks that they'll be working with. If in that application process, we didn't collect the social security number, date of birth, address, we can actually have that employee enter the information directly within onboarding. And folks, this is something that we can also send out before the employee's first day. So let's say I'm starting next Monday, we can send onboarding today. And then by the time the employee comes in, We've addressed all of the data points and collected that paperwork, and then we can focus their first day on meeting the people that they'll be working with, introducing them to, uh, to the building, to the organization, and it just makes for a better first day. We're not sitting them down at a table and going through hours of paperwork. All of this is wizard driven. So the Form I-9, we're walking employees through the form, um, letting them know roughly how long it will take them to complete, I'm entering my information, and then on the employee's first day, we'll collect that identification information. ADP also partners with E-Verify, so pinging E-Verify and, and completing that form all within the same platform. It's also stored for audit purposes directly within ADP. Tax withholding for federal and state acknowledging company policies, direct deposit, emergency contacts, having employees fill out custom forms or even upload documentation, all can be handled within this platform. Uh, one last thing I wanted to call out, we can include additional information about the company. I can also see where I'll be working. Uh, so I can say, this is the reports to location. I see there's a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. I know where I'm getting that cup of coffee on the way in. So just allowing us to give that employee an idea of where they're working uh, of course, if the employee is remote, this can, section can be turned off. Now, as the employee is completing this data, it is flowing into the Workforce Now ecosystem. So I can see Addy here, um, information flows in from that onboarding, and I can see that we've collected all the contact information, demographics, and we can also enter in custom fields that we create. Maybe we have a uniform or uh, for volunteering project, we need to have t-shirts. I can have those employees fill out that information onboarding and also beyond. One of the best tools that we have within ADP is our reporting capabilities. And I wanna highlight the field grabber tool that is embedded directly within our technology. This is something that ADP has patented and so once I load up that field grabber tool, I'm able to take any data point on the page and pull that data point into a report. Uh, so really reinventing what it's like to do and, per, and create a custom report. We also can take that reporting and go across different pieces of the ADP technology. So here we are in the personal profile. I can pull that employee's last name, personal email, and maybe we need one of those custom fields, that t-shirt size. I can create this report, 
and I can hand it to a vendor or even have the report scheduled to be run every week or every two weeks. We can then skip across the technology to statutory compliance where I can pull in things like race and ethnicity or I-9 status. We'll also let you know a similar report has been pulled in the past. I can run with that report or continue to add these data points and make my own custom report. Additionally, tracking things directly within the system like license and certifications, trainings. I can even notify practitioner level managers or the employee themselves when a certain license or, or uh, certification is coming up for expiration. Here we have it set to 30 days, but I can also say I would need a three month heads up when that forklift operator or that uh, LPN is coming up for expiration so that we can work to get it uh, renewed. Now, in addition to hosting the specific data points, we also have the ability to host documents themselves. Within ADP's document cloud, we have an unlimited repository for everything relating to the employee. So I can house a compensation notice, the employee's CPR certification or job description sign off. We also can make sure that the documents are not being accessed by anyone that shouldn't have permission to that document. So for instance, confidential medical, maybe I only wanna give one or two people throughout the organization access to that specific folder. Uh, so making sure that we can define permission and, and allow only those two or three people to have access to that specific document. Uh, you'll notice here too that we have pending signatures. So we can also ask the employee to e-sign this documentation. Uh, we can categorize these documents and I can also uh, add effective dating, reminding the employee when that document is coming up for expiration again. Now, uh, company property can also be housed here. Um, our learning management system also allows us to uh, increase employee engagement. I can launch learning directly through ADP for things like compliance um, or even leadership training and have the employee complete that in a portal here or through their mobile device. Generally, hand in hand with that HR, we're seeing clients uh, utilize our benefits module. From an employee standpoint, I can actually walk through that enrollment, both through the portal here or through that mobile device. When I go in to manage that enrollment, I see a welcome message that is showing me any kind of plan changes from the prior plan year to the current. We can also include contact information for our employees if they need to reach out to anyone as they're going through that enrollment process. We're having the employee manage dependents and beneficiaries, making sure that they're captured as part of that enrollment process. Uh, we want to make sure that the employees can uh, go through that, um, knowing that the dependents are included. And then we have a Help Me Choose tool. And this is a, a, an approach that is powered by NIA. It's a decision-making tool. It takes roughly 13 minutes for the employee to go through this. We are asking the employee to agree so that we can share information with NIA um, and then allowing the employee to pull in things like their salary. We're also asking, um, you know, do you have medical insurance? I can enter my member ID and group ID to see where I am on my plan. Uh, you know, what percentage of that deductible have I met? The system will also recommend a plan um, and I can see all of those recommendations. I have the ability to enter my primary care provider, prescription drugs that I'm on, uh, the way that I commute to work. Maybe we're project, they ride a bicycle. So I'm statistically more likely to get into an accident. And so the system will recommend accident insurance. Uh, so just making sure that the employee is fully covered about 75% of users will accept the recommendation that the system provides. Now that's from the employee standpoint. 
uh, as a practitioner, I can go into my benefits dashboard here. And this is a place where I can manage that event. I can see I have 17 days remaining in my open enrollment period with uh, around 350 employees that haven't started. So I can nudge them through the system and send out those reminders. The same thing is true for new hire enrollments and benefit invoicing. I, we break this down by carrier, so I can go in and see, okay, this is what my Aetna bill should look like. Because on the ADP side, we are taking that enrollment from the employee, we're delivering it to the carrier, and that includes changes, new hires, terminations, leave of absence. Uh, we're also then taking that deduction and sending it over to payroll using effective dating. So this truly is our system of record for benefits. When I pull that invoice, it should match what we're seeing from the carrier. And if it doesn't, they give us 30, 60, 90 days to receive that refund on our premium. We can call and make sure that everything is buttoned up. I also want to mention internally within our system uh, and on a few screens that we've been on so far, we have the chat with ADP function available to our practitioners. And it's loading up a live agent that's specifically aligned to that module. So here it would launch someone that's familiar with benefits. Um, I can then ask a question relating to benefits. How do I pull this invoice reporting or what does this mean? We can run those invoices um, or, and ask our questions internally within the system. Uh, it's worth mentioning, too, that if we have part-time staff, uh, we can include your measurement periods here directly within the system. Uh, we'll also notify you if an employee goes from part-time to full-time status and now are required to be offered benefits. So constantly monitoring those hours and keeping us up to date, ADP also files our 1094 and 1095Cs on your behalf. The next piece, uh, we'll go into our payroll. Uh, ADP has our own internal time and attendance system, but we'll also take uh, manual keying, of course, or time and attendance information from third parties. We talked about that marketplace before. So if you're using a time vendor that you're content with, um, odds are they're on our marketplace and we can move that information in from that time carrier or they'll at least have some sort of export that we can manually pull into ADP with a simple upload. So going into our payroll dashboard again, we can see that chat with ADP. We can import that file. If we're using ADP for time and attendance, we can pull in that time file directly into payroll. Uh, and of course, we're calling out any things to do. So maybe we're processing with ADP and we had a retroactive payment. So we gave this employee uh, a raise and it, the effective dating uh, was backdated. We're doing that calculation directly within the system. We'll also let you know of any time and attendance errors on this payroll. So I can see that we have a few missed punches or maybe we have a paid time off request that hasn't been approved that's relevant to this pay period. So just making sure that we're calling out those items before we actually go into the worksheet and process. Now, opening that worksheet, this is the, the ADP grid, and it's very similar to an Excel format. Um, we want to make sure that this is familiar. So I can see here that we have the employee's name, we have regular hours and earnings, and this is an example of a fairly built out pay grid. We can keep this very simple or if you are paying things like mileage on a per pay, pay period basis, we can make sure that it's a column here, making it easy for entry. Each employee is also assigned a file number. So if we are importing from a third party, the file number would align to the employee. And the file number is also determining all of the pay rules assigned to that employee. So we have our regular rate of pay, I have any deductions, I have my taxes and memo codes all aligned to this one employee, Ashley Adams. Again, that basis of pay, I can see my deductions for 401k and medical. 
Uh, we can also add wage garnishments directly through the system here, and ADP will remit those on your behalf to the authority and prioritize. Tax withholding for federal, state, and local. We're also able to accommodate any lived in, worked in scenario if we have employees that work and live across state lines. Our accumulators, time off, uh, which can be defined directly within the system. I can say at three years uh, anniversary date, we're bumping this person's paid time off to another rate. Uh, we can handle that within our system and the employee can always go into the ADP mobile app or into the portal to see what their balance is. Now going back to the worksheet, once I confirm that everything looks correct, I can click done. And then when I calculate the payroll, we're doing one last step before we actually accept and approve. And this is taking us to a menu that allows us to compare a prior pay to a current and see if there are any large variances. So one last final check, I can compare this payroll to the previous payroll run. And I can see that there are some variances here. And it looks like mainly we have that hours difference. We have a difference in overtime. I can view the details and drill down further into this to understand why there is a variance. And then of course, all of our payroll reports directly within the system, I can select multiple or select all and download these. But once I hit approve or accept at the top of the page, I hit approve, ADP is then doing the money movement on your behalf. And there are a lot of different tasks associated with processing payroll. We have our new hire reporting. We have our new hire reporting our quarterly and year-end tax filing, even moving information post-payroll over to the general ledger. When we partner with ADP, we're taking everything in gray off of your plate. So we need to make sure that we're getting that time entry into payroll. We need to process those new hires, terms and changes, and then any voids or adjustments, and then everything else we're taking off of your plate. Now, I, I want to talk about the movement post payroll into the general ledger. And so after I process my payroll, I can go into my general ledger interface, a fully dedicated platform for that movement of journal entries over to Microsoft. I would select the prior pay that I just ran, create that file and click transmit. Now, during the implementation of this, we are taking your debits, credits, how you do your mapping, and we are creating that file specifically for the way that you do accounting. Once we click transmit, within five to, uh, five to 15 minutes, we'll receive a notification letting us know that that push was successful. I can then log in to Dynamic 365, click on my journal entries, and be able to see that transaction in detail. We can see those debits, credits, and the account numbers that are aligned to them. Now, before we close, I do want to touch on the different reporting capabilities that we have within the system. Uh, we do have 174 standard reports within ADP, the ability to run custom reports, either using the field grabber or using the wizard driven tool here to create that custom report. Um, one additional thing we have is the ability to show and report on visible items. So within ADP's analytic tool, I can save certain dashboards and I can see these on my mobile device. Maybe I'm in HR and I want to keep a close eye on our headcount, our new hires and terminations. We can view this information over time and we can drill down into the data from the portal here or through my mobile device. One popular one that we're seeing a lot of clients ask for is turnover. And so we'll take a look at that turnover dashboard and show you the different ways that you can splice that data. And so turnover rate, we can view this information. The default is time here. So we can view how our turnover rate has changed over time. 
Uh, so there's been some, some up and downs, but overall it looks great. Now let's take a look. Um, we are in a demo database. So I, I wanna take a look at these managers and see if there's any specific managers that high, have a higher turnover rate than others. Here I can see Aubrey has around a 22% turnover rate for her team. Um, you know, Phil, Felix, higher turnover rate numbers. And then Amy down here has 0%. So what we can do here is we can collect best practices from some of those teams that have lower turnover and say, what's working on your team? What are you doing? Um, and then have those best practices instilled in some of the other team members. Maybe this manager is overseeing a certain job title or department. We can splice that information again and see if there's any similarities or any conclusions that we can draw from that data. The same rules apply for things like uh, time and attendance. If I wanna take a look at my overtime and understand specifically um, what that looks like uh, and, and has it paced to what we thought it would be. So looking at that overtime, um, using the time grid here, I can see we, again, had a lot of ups and downs. Um, but now I wanna take a look and see if there's any correlation between that and our sales numbers. So we can import data um, and take a look and see, you know, here's where we projected, here's where our sales numbers were, and then here's our overtime. Uh, so it looks like we had really, um, we had really high sales here with really low overtime um, and drilling down into that data to understand, again, correlations and numbers and helping us plan for the future. We can also say, you know, maybe one of our goals is to reduce our um, reduce over time year over year or month over month. How are we pacing with that goal? I can enter the information and see, you know, what do we look like month over month, year over year, or quarter over quarter, and how are we progressing with that goal? Uh, additionally, um, we have our benchmarking tools. This is powered by that ADP data that we were talking about earlier. So ADP pays one in five Americans. Uh, and, and we shared earlier that we're almost at that 1 million mark. Uh, this is showing how many organizations we're pulling that data from and how many employees we're pulling that data from nationwide. Uh, ADP also uh, provides the government with our uh, monthly job report. Um, so that is powered by ADP. And so we're using that same data, not 12 month old survey data. This is updated on a monthly basis. So keeping the pace of the market. If I'm hiring an IT manager, I can see here, this is how many organizations and employees were pulling that information from across the nation. And then I can go into a specific region or maybe we're hiring someone remote. I wanna look at their specific metropolitan area to understand what I need to do in order to pay that employee fairly. So I can load that up. And you'll notice the, the more granular we get, the smaller that number becomes. We're now looking in the New York area and I can see we have roughly a thousand organizations, roughly 2000 employees in that space for that IT manager position. And then I can drill down into how much that employee should make using our benchmarking. We'll also take into consideration tenure distribution. So someone that has been doing um, managing IT for one year versus 15 years, we would expect to see a difference in pay. And so we can map that out as well. These same metrics are also available for our workforce and organizational benchmarking. Um, we can see payroll spend, um, you know, and benchmark ourselves against others. We can do the same thing for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and understand how diverse our workforce is versus others. Uh, running pay equity reports and understanding how our pay compares to others in the market. Uh, we'll also call out any outliers. So just making sure if we do see uh, you know, this specific location has a higher turnover rate than the rest of the in organization, 
will let you know through that mobile device, hey, this department is showing 17%, your organizational benchmark is around seven. And so allowing you to drill down and understand why that specific location is being called out. So that was a, a quick recap uh, an overview of the Workforce Now portal and that integration with Microsoft Business Central. Um, I know we want to leave some time at the end for any uh, questions and, and answers. And so I am going to open that up now. Yeah, thank you, Michael. If you wanna go ahead and stop sharing your screen, I will take it from here. Um, we do have one more poll question for you folks. Um, if you can see our screen here, just wanting to know if you feel like you've learned a lot about ADP today, right? Like obviously we've been sitting here talking about ADP or integrations um, in our system and just want to make sure that the, you know, everyone who's attending today is feeling fulfilled and, and that they've actually learned something today. Awesome, okay, um, so we will connect. Um, I think there's somebody here who um, maybe wanted to learn a little bit more. So I will find out who that person is and connect with them separately. So let's go ahead and open it up to, to Q&A. Um, there's a couple questions in the chat. Um, somebody, an anonymous attendee had asked about, let's see, getting started on doing payroll on ADP. Is there any payroll specific videos or webinars? Uh, I will share my email. So if you want to reach out to me and I can send you over some resources, um, whether that be through YouTube or our client uh, facing support system called The Bridge where other clients are posting best practices and how to's. Um, Michael, there's also a, a question from Mike McC McCluskey. Um, can the ADP Business Central integration include employee photo? Uh, so at this time, it does not include the photo. Um, we are moving the employee's name, uh, hire, termination date, uh, contact information and address, uh, also their status, but the, uh, the photo is not part of that integration at this time. Thank you, Michael. We'll open up to the rest of the team. Um, any other questions, uh, feel free to take yourselves off mute. This time is really for, for you folks. Okay, no worries. So if we don't have any other questions um, for contact information, all things ADP, um, may there be an interest, you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, that is my cell and my email over there on the left. And then if you have more questions and you wanna reach out to your Savantas contact, um, first, totally fair, feel free to reach out to your account manager or drop an email to info at um, You know, we're, we're here to support you folks and what you may need, especially if it comes to you know, the, the Business Central ADP connector. So uh, thank you all again for your time. I'll give this a minute so anyone needs to write down this information, but I'm sure this uh, slides will go out to you folks as well. Um, a few other things since we do have about 15 minutes, just some things to think about and some commonly asked questions is how many different dimensions can we move from Business Central and ADP? So we can do up to 20. Okay, just keep that in mind. These are again commonly asked questions as we're asked by our clients all the time. You know, what what fields can we move on the employee data side? And I know Michael talked about some of this. So we have multiple different event notifications and data points, and we will show an example on this next slide. You folks take a look at this here. Michael, you have any ads on this piece? Um no, this this looks like a good comprehensive list. Uh, but there, are, if there are any questions about um, any additional fields, uh, feel free to to pop that in.
Okay, and last common ask question, can ADP handle retroactive pay calculations? And the answer is yes. Um, so that's it from us today. I mean, thank you again, everybody, for joining us for this hour. Michael, thank you for the amazing demo. Um, may anybody have questions, again, feel free to come to me directly or reach out to your Savantis account manager. We are here to support you, and thank you again for your hour.